Welcome to everybody. Uh, it's Angelo Figini speaking, and uh, uh, now I'm presenting uh, the webinar uh, with the topic Naval Health Monitoring using MAST Multiplexed System. I'm an application line manager in SmartTech for Bridges and Ships, and beside me there is my colleague Daniele Posenato as uh, organizer. Okay, this is a web seminar. You should hear my voice through your PC speaker headset. You can ask questions using uh, the question panel on the right of your screen. We will answer in the question panel at the end of the presentation by email. Later this week, you will receive link to presentation PowerPoint, PDF, and with narration data sheets. Contents are introduction, motivation to ships monitoring with fiber optic sensor. The technology is the MAST systems. Uh, then we will see some application examples. And then there is the um, questions and answers. Let's spend a few words regarding uh, the introduction of this uh, webinar. Uh, there are more than 4,500 total ships losses uh, recorded worldwide in the period from uh, 1994 to 2002. And more than 30% of such incidents are caused by structural problems. Sorry for the delay, but uh, the slides uh, are pretty slow. We are talking about the SHM, Structural, Structural Health Monitoring, that allows rapid assessment of the ship's state of health, with particular reference to the strain and subsequently to stress of the double hull, uh, WBT, water ballast tanks. Furthermore, the data resulting from the monitoring program are used to improve uh, the efficiency of the load and the unload operations, the maintenance, the repair, and the replacement of the structure based on uh, reliable and objective data. Detection of ongoing damages can be used to discriminate deviations from the design performance and the real-time diagnosis on board means security for passengers and cargos. Now I'll, uh, I'll give you some example regarding the benefits of uh, uh, installing a, a structural health monitoring on ships. First of all, uh, ensure security and uh, uh, reduce insurance cost. Because SmartTech structural monitoring system installed on a ship is able to guarantee the security for the structure itself, for the cargos and the passenger as well. For this purpose, three shorts or warning and alert may be set according to critical deformation values. The presence of a structural monitoring system increases the overall security level of the ship 
and entitled to an additional class notation, with consequentially decreasing of the insurance cost. Design parameters confirmed. A comparison between the design and real monitored behavior confirms or refines the design performances. Data supplied from the monitoring system are used to validate the ship structural model, typical by FEM, finite element method, and data is transferred to a control room and integrated in the global naval diagnostic system. Quality assurance. A monitoring system provides information on the quality of the material used in the construction as well as on the structural design calculus. In addition, it allows the evaluation of the cycle of fatigue induced by the periodic solicitation of the hydrodynamic motion, after the wave, oscillation, and so on. Other benefits are the assessing of real condition of the ships. In fact, structural health monitoring aims to provide more reliable data on the real condition of the structure observe its evolution and detect the appearance of new degradations. Furthermore, a structural and monitoring system leads to a reduction of the ship docking for the inspection controls. And another important aim of the structural and monitoring system is the real-time diagnosis of the ship structural behavior, with particular reference to critical points and section of the ship frame. Then uh, there are also the improve of knowledge on complex ships, improve and increase knowledge on structural behavior of complex or novel ships on the long term and when new construction technologies and new structural systems are used. Monitoring helps creation, knowledge improvement and accurate recalibration of numerical models. Long-term analysis allows the determination of the elastic deformed shape of the ship by double integration of the curvature functions. And uh, finally, integrated solution provided by, by SmartTag, uh, structural and monitoring solution for ships based on advanced fiber optic technology and conventional sensor. We also integrate third party transducer for additional information if needed. And all sensor technology are seam, uh, seamlessly integrated into a single database and the user interface. In this slide, we will see the advantages of fiber optic sensor for ship monitoring. Uh, first of all, there is an absence of any electrical signals, so uh, electrical uh, magnitude immunity. Intrinsically safe, uh, no risk of explosion due to short uh, circuit. It's a system uh, passive, no need for uh, any electrical power in the sensor itself. It's, uh, there is the possibility of a remote control and the multiplexed operation. Uh, thanks to the small site uh, light wave of the, the sensor. Integrated telemetry, fiber itself is a data link for telecommunication. High sensitivity of the sensor long measurement range, cost effective, and uh, now we uh, pass through the monitoring parameters that uh, we can uh, monitor thanks to our uh, system. First of all, the local strain, uh, ship hull strain compared to FEM, vibrating strain, wave slamming, and ice loads. Also, tilts, the rotation is possible to measure, uh, the pitch, uh, rotation and roll, vibration, uh, acceleration, modal analysis and wave slamming, temperature, temperature of the steel and uh, temperature of the product uh, in, uh, carried uh, by the, the ships. And then it's also possible to uh, have a, a distributed temperature um, system to measure the temperature of product for fire detection and uh, also for uh, leakage detection. Uh, onboard pipe leak detection, detection uh, in, in the tanks, in, for, uh, for instance, in case of uh, oil tankers, uh, 
uh, gas tankers, LNG, LPG, and so on. And then is also we can also provide images uh, for ships and load images. What is possible to do by uh, ship structural monitoring? Uh, basically, uh, the layout that we provide uh, to measure strain is an integration error three uh, dimension array of strain gauge sensor, primarily below the water line. Particular focus uh, is on the critical points uh, as well as uh, on a representative section for a real time diagnosis. And then there is also the long term analysis to, for the determination of the form and shape of the, the ship structure, validation of the structural model of the ship by FEM analysis, and study of fatigue uh, cycles introduced by the peculiar stresses of the hydrodynamic motion. And uh, just, uh, of course, what we want to avoid is this. What are the advantages uh, in uh, installing a monitoring system provided by SmartTech? Uh, basically, there are several advantages. Uh, in this uh, slide, I try to summarize uh, the main important one. With a structural monitoring system in real time, certifying organization uh, give an additional note, facilitating the transition to a higher class or at least obtain a, an additional class notation. High, high class notation means a reduction in frequency, frequency as well as uh, duration of the mandatory audits of the certifying organizations. Assessing and docking at ports and terminals for loading and unloading is regulated by rules that make direct reference to the class notation. An additional class notation is a pass much appreciated. Reduction of supplementary inspections uh, required by charter, especially oil company, to protect against the loss of the cargo. Rational planning and optimization of maintenance as well as diagnosis in real time in case of impact on the queue collision with other vessels, strandings, and so on. Other advantages are uh, that thanks to a structural monitoring, the ship owner is able to justify an increase in the cost of chartering and can obtain, it could obtain a significant reduction in insurance cost. On the basis of historical data downloaded and post-process, designers can also optimize the sizing of the hulls, possibly reduction the thickness with positive economic impacts. During the loading and unloading, have real feedbacks on the state of the stress, especially for container ships, tanker, bulk carriers. Increasing at active safety, especially for cruise ships and environmental, especially oil tankers. Then have an historian who certifies particular stresses suffered by the ship structure during its operation is especially interesting in case of sale. Now uh, have a look to the different uh, uh, ship uh, typology just to have an idea on which ships we can uh, uh, provide our uh, uh, monitoring system. There are uh, uh, mainly bulk carrier, the, the container ships, oil tanker ships, MPP multipurpose ships, PCC pure car carrier, LNG liquefied natural gas with temperature approximately at minus 164 degrees centigrade. LPG, liquefied petroleum gas at high pressure up to 18 bars. 
FPSO, floating production, storage and offloading, tag and icebreaker. Now we will talk uh, about the technology, uh, the MAST system. The MAST system is a multiplex, multiplexed strain and temperature monitoring system and uh, the technology is based on FBG, fiber bra gratings. It's possible to uh, have on the same chain up to 12 strain sensor and 30 temperature sensor. The gauge length starts from uh, uh, 10 centimeters up to 2 meters. It's possible to measure temperature and deformation, to have uh, uh, static and dynamic measurements, uh, permanent and remote monitoring via Ethernet. It's a system easy and rapid to install and to measure. Don't, uh, it doesn't require any uh, calibration. It's possible to use it an advanced data management system, SDB, uh, system software. And now in this slide, uh, we will see just in few words uh, the physical principle of the FBG. The, thanks to an ultraviolet process, uh, the core of the fiber, on the core of the fiber is uh, created the uh, gratings. And uh, when the uh, readout unit uh, uh, launched the uh, optical signal inside the fiber, they reflected the wavelength uh, just where there is this grating. It depends, uh, it, it dependent on the strain and the temperature of the fiber. There is also another uh, very interesting uh, uh, peculiar uh, um, characteristic of this uh, system the multiplexed uh, uh, sensing uh, of the reading unit and this means that uh, uh, from uh, the same channel we can uh, have several wavelengths and several wavelengths means uh, several strain and temperature sensor on the same uh, lane on the same channel in this example here we have uh, a readout unit with uh, four channels and as you can see, uh, for uh, each channel, uh, we can create a chain uh, of uh, multiplexed sensor to measure both strain and temperature. Now we, we will see the components of the system, the MAST system, sensor and uh, readout units. We can have strain and temperature multiplexed sensor insensitive to temperature, electromagnetic fields and corrosion, easy and rapid to install, embeddable in case in the concrete or in composite material, are uh, suitable for permanent installation, are rugged and waterproof, and it's possible to connect the reading unit with an Ethernet connection. The performances of the system are the following. Uh, resolution 0 0.2 picometer, picometers corresponding to 0 0.2 microns or 0 0.02 degrees centigrade. The repetibility is 2 picometer corresponding to 2 micro strain or 0 0.2 degrees centigrade in temperature. The measurement speed are the following for the mast light, the, the light version of the reading unit, from 1 to 10 Hz for, with the mast dynamic starting from uh, 50 up to 1000 Hz. And the max, uh, maximum number of channels are uh, 1 to 4 with an external mul uh, switch multiplexer up to 8 or 16 for dynamic measure or up to 100 for static measurements. Now uh, we will see in this slide the different topology of sensor. We can, uh, we can have just single-ended sensor, for instance using a coupler device 
or double end sensor. In this case, we have uh, two connectors on the left and on the right. And then we can create, uh, as I told you, chained of sensor, strain and temperature, uh, connected from the both side and the same chain, several strain or temperature sensors. Uh, for the uh, structural monitoring uh, of the ships, we use a particular kind of uh, uh, mass sensor called the Smart Profile Strain Sensor. This Smart Profile Strain Sensor uh, is a tra transducer that transforms a strain variation into a change in the flat wavelength of FBG. This FBG is uh, encapsulated into a surface mountable patch. These sensors are compatible with smart uh, tech mast reading unit, of course. And the features are the following. High resolution, insensitive to temperature variation, insensitive to corrosion, vibration, electric magnetic fields. The, they uh, don't require any uh, calibration, are ideal for harsh uh, on-site conditions, are suitable for uh, extreme pressure condition, the case of uh, water ballast uh, tanks, extended temperature range, uh, resistance uh, at high chemical uh, products, ap applicable in deep water, and the long lifetime. In this picture, you can see the sensor, smart profile, mass smart profile, and uh, the yellow cable is the passive part of the sensor, the green is the connectors. In this second uh, slide you see the another uh, uh, picture where the smart profile is integrated uh, on the surface, on the metallic surface of the, of the ship. And uh, we have the description of the smart profile that consists uh, of a reinforced composite profile instead which is embedded uh, the FBG. And an additional temperature sensor can optionally be embedded in the same profile at the end of the sensor to compensate uh, the uh, temperature variation. Uh, the sensor uh, has a, a small cross section, 8 millimeters wide and 3 millimeters thickness, and uh, it's in a composite packaging that uh, make it ideal for uh, its application in harsh on site condition. It features high mechanical, chemical, and temperature resistance. It can be effectively used in the following application, structural monitoring of novel structures, of course, subsea application, for instance, the monitoring of shallow and deep water riser, offshore platform, and other, other oil and gas structures, industrial and military structures, etc. The smart profile can be simply bonded uh, in this case, the smart profile is bonded, uh, is glued on the surface, or clamped to any kind of surface, such as steel, composite, concrete, etc. In this slide, I will show you uh, the a drawing of the a sketch drawing of the sensor smart profile. The smart profile sensor is composite of an active and a passive zone. The active zone contains uh, the sensing profile with the FBG embedded and the second FEG for the temperature measurement compensation. The metallic tube, tube contain the optional temperature uh, sensing FBG embedded in the same profile in this position. Uh, the strain FBG is in this position, the active zone, with a length of 200 millimeters. The active zone serve, serves as a measurement basis of the sensor, and the passive zone is composed of the interconnection cable and the connector. In this kind of configuration, it's possible to connect up to uh, five sensors in the same chain, in the same single array. The temperature sensor in this um, typology of uh, configuration can be all installed in the terminal sensor of the chain. Okay, in this uh, slide, uh, it summarizes the technical characteristics of this sensor. And I would like just to highlight the, the condition of use exposed to extreme hydrostatic pressure, seawater, and some chemical as well as high and low temperature. This is the main feature of this kind of sensor. And then also the resolution and accuracy, as uh, we already discussed. 
and another important uh, feature is that uh, the the sensor uh, doesn't require any kind of calibration. Now we will uh, uh, I will show some uh, uh, reference, some uh, application examples of this kind of uh, MAST system. Uh, this is the picture of the first uh, uh, oil tanker ship we have uh, monitored with this kind of uh, uh, system. This is the four island uh, tanker ship and is an, uh, an oil tanker with approximately 100,000 dead weight tons which is now equipped with a ship hull structural monitoring system consisting of uh, 48 fiber optic smart profile mast strain sensor mainly installed in the WBT water ballast tanks. The oil tanker, uh, the ship owner is uh, Premuda SPA from Genoa. Uh, we installed the, the monitoring system at the Vina Shin shipyard in Vietnam in 2007 and uh, uh, the installation was performed by Pegasus system, our partners, our Italian partner with the, the support of Smartech of course. In this uh, slide you can see an uh, installation layout, a sketch of the installation layout. Uh, this is a longitudinal, longitudinal view and uh, as you can see on the third part, side of the, the ship in the spatial control room we installed the CMP, Central Measurement Point. Then uh, the green lines are the multi-fiber cables that uh, runs uh, along the longitudinal uh, frame of the, of the ships in the direction of the bow to connect the, the passive part of the smart, smart uh, profile mass sensor through the J-box. This uh, that I'm uh, showing you are the six J-box. Inside this J-box there are uh, the E2000 connectors and the passive part of the sensor that uh, goes inside the water ballast to measure the strain in the double hull of these uh, huge ships. Ship. This is just to have an idea regarding the layout configuration. Another application uh, is the four coal bar carrier ship. Uh, with uh, the same uh, dead weight ton, 100,000 uh, tons. It's now is, is a, uh, this, this ship is equipped uh, with the ship all structural monitoring consisting of uh, 55 fiber optic smart profile mast strain sensor developed uh, sp specifically for this kind of application. The ship owner is uh, Olis Premuda, SPA. Uh, and the place where uh, the integration was performed uh, is China during uh, the period 2007-2008 and uh, the installation was performed by Pegaso system. What are the main results uh, of this uh, two first project performed by, by Smartech? Uh, both this project, four islands and four coal ships, uh, have been the first fiber optic monitoring systems in the world totally designed and integrated in an operating ships of that size and typology. The main results are the following. Real-time diagnosis of the ship structural behavior with particular reference to critical points and section of the ship frame. Three shots of warning and alert were settled according to critical deformation values uh, real-time diagnosis on board security for crew and cargos. Data supplied from the monitoring system used to validate the ship structural model, FEM. Long-term analysis, determination of the elastic deformation shape of the ship by double integration of the curvature function. Evaluation of the cycle of fatigue induced by the periodic solicitation of the hydrodynamic motion increase the security level of the ship and decrease the insurance cost. 
Now I'll show you another uh, very interesting project on the four spring bar carrier uh, in the context of uh, an, a European project called the MOSES in uh, where uh, we are involved uh, as a provider of the uh, monitoring solutions. The project is an innovative continuum multiplex optical sensor all stress monitoring system supporting shipping safety and enhancing the control capability over structural ship integrity. Main aim of monitor are uh, all thickness reduction, overload detection and fatigue fatigue analysis. The clients, let me say, is the European community. The period 2008 and 2000, uh, since 2000, uh, up to 2011, three years, and uh, the installation of uh, our system uh, are performed uh, by our partner Pegasus Systems. Uh, let me spend a few words regarding this uh, European uh, Union project called the MOSES. The comp concept of MOSES project is to apply highly effective knowledge-based uh, methods to achieve control of tensile load in the whole extension of the ship hull using temperature compensated laser-based optical sensors. The project objectives involve ship clustering, sensor development, FEM structural calculation and data conditioning to grant the applicability to the widest types of ships. Sensor fusion concept is adopted to integrate strain gauges, accelerometers and inclinometers in a common optical fiber based architecture capable of providing instantaneous information concerning the dynamic status of the ship. The sensor have to prove to respect the stringent requirements of the working environment in terms of ruggedness, reliability, response accuracy, insensibility to EM interference, and the multiplex connection capability. The expected benefits are associated to immediate, immediate increase in safety of the ship where they are installed during loading and shipping conditions, reduction of the causalities, extended the service life of vessel and uh, target maintenance directed to overcome the, the measures uh, detected by the monitoring system. The European uh, project uh, MOSES partners are the following Dapologna SPA from Genoa, Italy, Smartec uh, SA of course, Pegasus system in Genoa, PKL, Tallinn, Estonia, Micro Omega from uh, Wroclaw, Poland, Premuda SPA, Genoa, Italy, Rina, Registro Naval Italiano from Genoa, Italy, and NTUA, National Technical University of Athens in Greece. There are also other ongoing projects. I would like just to highlight the, the last. Uh, uh, we are uh, uh, monitoring in the, in the same uh, European uh, project MOSES, we are monitoring a TAG icebreaker boat with the mass system. And then also the Leonis bulk carrier ship from Edison company with mast system and uh, uh, also an LNG liquefied natural gas carrier from Saipem company, uh, ENI group with diatom system. The diatom system is a distributed temperature system which allows to measure along the uh, just one uh, sensing cable several uh, thousand uh, uh, points. Just to have an idea, this is the, the principle of detection or leak detection of this diatom system. As I told you, with just one optical fiber sensor, it's possible to replace thousand of pinpoint sensors. This is the idea, this, the, the, this is the case of LNG uh, ship. We, we just use a sensing cable, one sensing cable with one reading unit in a control room and we can uh, uh, monitor the temperature variation along this cable for uh, several kilometers. Let me say up to 10 and also 30 kilometers. 
the read unit, as I told you, is in the control room. In conclusion, uh, let me say that uh, learning how a ship performs in real condition will help to better design structure for the future. This can lead to cheaper, safer, and more durable structures with incre increased reliability, performance, and safety. Structural monitoring using a smart solution represent a good way to enlarge knowledge and assessment on the structural performance and the integrity. SmartTech is your dependable partner for instrumentation project management and we support you in all phases of the project, from the system design to installation, commissioning and training. Through our experience and commitment, we guarantee the satisfaction of your monitoring needs. Smart Tech Company belong, belongs to the Rotes Group and Rotes Group has been instrumented the critical structure including dams and nuclear power plants for more than 60 years. The worldwide network of system integrators provides a competent local support for every kind of monitoring projects. Okay, and uh, how knowledge uh, I thank you to Pegaso System SRL based in Genoa, Italy, which is our Italian partner for ship monitoring. And uh, uh, special thanks also to all the Moses project partners. Okay, the presentation is over. Thank you for your attention. If you have uh, any questions, please don't hesitate to to send me an email, to call me, and uh, it will be a pleasure for me to reply as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye. Yes, if you want to send me uh, some question right now, I can reply immediately, immediately in real time, I mean, using uh, the webinar technology. I'm available for the next, let me say, 10-15 minutes.